الله الرحمن الرحيم Welcome back friends welcome back to another video lecture by Kami Microbial Chester Today in this video lecture we are going to talk about culture media that is specially used for the microbial growth okay so my name is Muhammad Kamal Khan and I am the microbiologist let's start the video in this video first of all we will explaining that what is actually culture media what are the types of the culture media different means we have the principle of the culture media then composition uses objective discovery requirements uh, growth on the culture media and how to prepare the culture media so all these are the main content that we are going to talk in this video then let's start the video with the definition of the culture media now what is actually the culture media uh, remember guys culture media is actually a media which contain special types of the nutrient component due to which a microbes can grow microbes for example we have bacteria or fungi that can grow okay this culture media is also called as growth media why because in this media the nutrients is available due to which the microbes can grow then we have the classification of the culture media remember guys culture media are classified into three types on the basis of their constituency on the basis of their nutritional components uh, on the basis of uh, application and chemical compositions on the basis of their constituency we can divide the culture media into three types solid media semi solid media and liquid media solid media is that type of the culture media in which the agar component is present now what is actually the agar component agar component means uh, that are acting as a solidifying agent so remember guys it is actually a powder uh, substance and we, when we put it into a distal water uh, means half amount or some amount into the distal water so then it convert the water into solidifying agent solidifying doesn't mean that it convert it into hard form it convert it into a jelly like form okay so solid media in this case the media will be in a jelly form and in this this is due to the addition of the agar component then we have another type of the media on the basis of consistency we call that semi solid media semi solid as the name indicates so in this case the agar is used but not in a high amount half amount of the agar is used in this case and then we have liquid media in which agar is not used so the media will be in a liquid form we have neutron broth this is the example lb broth is the example triptych swipe broth is the example okay so all those media in which agar is not used because we better know that agar is actually acting as a solidifying agent so if agar is not used so the media will be in a liquid state so this is called liquid media then we have neutron nutritional component now on the basis of nutritional component the media are in three types simple media complex media and synthetic media in case of the simple media only simple nutrients are present not a lot of nutrients are present for example casein beef extract uh, like we have uh, nacl so these three things are present so we call that simple media and sometimes we have you know uh, media which contain uh, a lot of uh, components uh, like uh, yeast extract nacl uh, we have buffer component we have some other thing as well beef extract uh, nacl potassium calcium all these component are present so the media are in a complex form due to this way we call that complex media then we have third type of the media we call that uh, synthetic media in this type uh, <coughs> although the media is contain all the component but in this case we can prepare it by ourselves according to ourselves for example if the bacteria let's suppose grow in a in a media that contain a nutrition like yeast beef and nacl so we will provide that type of the component to the media so this is actually called a synthetic media which we prepare it according to our desire then we have another type of media means we can classify the media on the basis of application and chemical composition so there are four types of the media basal media enriched media selective media differential media 
basal media in which basic components are present and just a few types of the microorganisms can grow like blood agar is actually the basal media okay then we have enriched media in which all type of the microorganisms can grow all type of the bacteria fungi can grow just like neutron agar okay then we have selective media in which the selected microorganisms can grow the microorganism the bacteria which we want that this type of bacteria should be grow so we call that selective media and due to this way we can you know design the media in such a way that uh, we can provide uh, we can add a type of antibiotic due to which other uh, bacteria will be not grow and only those bacteria can grow which are resistant to that particular type of the antibiotic that is called a selective media then we have differential media which is designed in which only those type of the bacteria two or uh, we can say that four uh, four or five types of the bacteria can grow on this type of the media or it can differentiate the bacteria as well as the fungi like sda is the differential media on in which only fungi can grow and neutron agar meconki agar emb all these are what these are the differential media in which only gram positive and gram negative bacteria can grow meconki agar is the media uh, differential media we have neutron agar in which both are uh, grow so these are what these are actually the differential media all these are actually the types of the culture media as you can see so there are almost uh, 26 steps of the culture media we have neutron agar lb agar we have minitol salt agar chocolate agar we have molar hilton agar campylobacter agar mecon key agar emb agar chromo agar xlt4 dna test agar blood agar we have lj agar tm agar uh, we have uh, triptych soy agar media so all these are what all these uh, salmonella shigella agar clad agar xld4 uh, xld media so all these are what all these are the most important type of the culture media so remember guys inside the lab mostly neutron agar msa mha meconki emb blood agar clad agar and uh, mostly these types of the media are used inside the lab not all these media are used but if you use this type this particular type of the media you will identify the bacteria if the other media you can't use doesn't matter but there are some media which are the selective media there are some media which are the nutritional media there are some media which are the basal media there are some media which are the differential media okay so all these are the most important types of the media so inshallah in step by step video lecture we will explain all these media one by one in detail then we have the basic principle of the media that what are actually the basic principle of the media remember guys mostly the media contain what nutrients so this is this nutrients is actually sp uh, responsible for the bacterial growth or for the microbial growth if the nutrients are not present in a media so the bacteria will be not good we, do, we don't call it that it is a media okay so remember guys for a culture media it should contain what it should contain nutrients that can provide better or best growth for the bacteria or for other microbes as well then we have the composition of the media remember guys in every media distal water is needed carbohydrate is present buffer solution is present carbon nitrogen minerals uh, metals uh, and some other special growth factors are present these things and these component are present in every type of the media okay then we have the preparation of the media now how we can prepare the media if you want to prepare any type of the media first of all you have to select the culture media for example if you select nutrient mecon kegar emb let's suppose if you select any one of the media so you have to read the instruction which is present back side of the bottle media are specially present inside the bottle in the form of powder okay so when you uh, read the instruction in the instruction will tell you that how many grams will you put in a liter okay so this is how to prepare once you read the instruction after that you will wait the ingredient according to instruction present into the bottle inshallah i will 
you know tell all the instruction inside the bottle and then we will explain so where the ingredient which you are required for the volume so where the ingredient with the help of weight balance and then add this ingredient into a distal water and mix it how you will mix it you will mix it with a heat the heat should be at a 50 centigrade and once you uh, for uh, you know almost uh, 10 minutes or 5 minutes you will heat mix all the ingredient in a distal water and after that uh, are to clave it for 121 centigrade uh, uh, almost 15 minutes okay and after that after auto claving then pour the media if the media is a solidifying media pour it into the petri plate and if it is the liquid media then pour it into the test tube so that's all about the culture media thanks for watching